Another controversy for the L.A. County Sheriff's Department, Sheriff Alex Villanueva, expressing, quote, grave concerns following the deputy-involved shooting of 34-year-old David Ordaz Jr. Ordaz was having an episode in front of his East L.A. home. His sister warned a 911 dispatcher that he was suicidal and might try to provoke a deadly use of force. Are you feel secure? Uh, I don't know. I mean, no matter what, this is my brother. Yes, I understand. And it's good that you guys called and you know, you're trying to help him, help him out. But when sheriff's deputies arrived at the scene, the situation escalated. Hey, step out of the car. Yeah. Hey, put the knife down, dude. Put the knife down. Hey, we're not here to shoot you, dude. We're trying to help you out. Why are you upset today? Why do you want us to shoot? Soon after Ordaz moved to the sidewalk, a deputy requested permission to fire a stun bag. Hey, sir. You should hit him with one. Yeah. Too close. Stun bag. Stun bag. Stun bag. Stun bag. Ordaz was shot 12 times. Experts concluded he posed no threat to the deputies. This isn't normal because, I mean, people in our society now treat it like it is. Like it's this, it's this normal thing. Well, they're police officers, so it's, it's fine if they just kill, you know, murder somebody. And it's not even like, it's like Remy Pinada is a cold-blooded murderer. I mean, to, I mean, have you seen the video? Like, my dad was in pain. He was in pain. He was shot 11 times at that point and holding on for dear life. I mean, hold, literally holding himself. And even cop supporters agree that he was in the complete wrong. That show, that means something, right? Like for people that are blue lives matter and you know, for even them to admit that he executed my dad, it sucks that I could go on YouTube and like look up my dad's name and find videos of him being killed like it's normal, you know? And that's what I, that's what I was saying. It's like this whole other monster because who, there's not many people that you know that could look up their father's name, their brother's name, their uncle's name and find a video of them being killed in cold blood, you know? The four sheriff's deputies who shot and killed Ordaz are still employed by LA County. I find myself looking at pictures and forgetting, like, there are pictures that we use so often that I'll forget, like, my dad's gone, this is my dad. And you forget sometimes, because you're so lost in fighting for him that you forget, and you have to remind yourself. <laughs> you have to remind yourself of who he was. And I was telling my mom this earlier, too, that I don't think anybody ever heals from this. I think we just distract ourselves enough because I find times where I'm not doing anything and I'll just sit and I'll think about him and it's like I'm breaking down as much as I was the day of his funeral. The day I found out, I'm like, I'm reacting the same way and it's because I, I don't think I've truly healed at all.